Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf. My name is Eric Schneider, and today we're going to be aerating our putting greens. Now, a lot of people have this notion that aeration is this big, scary, terrible thing. And it is for golfers, right? There's nothing worse than having sand and a bunch of holes that you're trying to play on. However, for a golf course owner, it is a necessary evil and a great benefit to our turf grass. So, we're going to show you the coring process, we're going to show you the harvesting process, spreading the sand, dragging the sand in, and then watering it in. We're going to take you along and show you how we aerate today. Let's get started. Coring or pulling the core is the first step in the process. So we take that dirt, we pull it out, we create an opening, and that gives us the ability to put sand in and also helps the water as the season progresses to go down into the ground, lets air in, lets nutrients in. If we fertilize, that gets down into the roots easier. It ends up paying off later on in the season when it gets really hot and we need to water. All right, step number two in the process is to rake the cores into windrows and we'll come along with the conveyor belt. We'll pick them up one at a time. Hopefully they're not too big. If they get too thick, they're hard to pick up. So we do this on every single green after we pull the cores out. Step number two. So much fun. Step number three is to harvest the cores. What that means is we are using this conveyor belt on this old Cushman Workman, and we're loading these cores up into the back of this cart, and we're taking them and we're dumping them in another location. So let's do a little test. We're gonna see how deep these cores go on this screwdriver and measure our core depth. You know, to be able to get the entire length of this screwdriver down in there, that is a ton of depth. It should make it really nice for us to water. All right, so step number four is to apply the sand. The sand flows out of the hopper into the feed wheels on the back, which are going to spread the sand on the putting green. We can adjust how thick that is. We get about a 15 foot swath out of that wide spin. We'll probably do that about four times. So, and the amount of sand is crazy. So we'll drag this all in and we'll spread sand again and we'll drag it all in. We'll spread sand again, probably three or four cycles of that to fill these holes in completely. So that's step number four, spreading the sand. Let's check out step number five. All right, this green here is on probably its second or third layer of sand. So the way the drag works is as we drag the sand back and forth over the holes, we just go back and forth just like this. You can see that these holes progressively fill in to the point where they disappear. And these will fill back in with grass and they'll become part of the putting surface. So you can see how you can't really tell there's even any holes there anymore. So we'll drag all this sand in, fill these holes in, and it'll be one nice putting surface by the time we're all done with it. Okay, so it's been about four weeks since we shot the aeration video, and I just wanted to go and show you the finished final product of our greens this year. 
So this is four weeks past aeration date. We have nice green grass, beautiful color, and the golf balls are rolling super well. Check it out.